Brian, I feel like we've had this conversation too much already on our very young show, which is um, we have to go, unfortunately, through the emotions of a Jets fan <laughs> uh, that happened. Yeah. yeah, I don't have any. I, I'm numb. Yeah, I'm numb. okay. <laughs> like, I don't have any emotions. First of all, I didn't get to watch it because I was with my significant other. Um, and we like went out for his birthday and we, and I wanted to postpone it all. Cause I'm like, the Jets game is on, but he was like, no, we can't do it. And you know, that's why the Jets ruin relationships because so many, <laughs> so many probably like <laughs> dates or like have been put on pause for the Jets and they always disappoint. So I, I was able to watch a little bit at the bar. I was able to look at some social media stuff. I saw the pump fake, which is great. Kind of reminds me of like um, that was the one bright movie. spot, by the way. Well, it, you know what you know what the Jets kind of remind me of sometimes. It's like when you're like you know the movie Major League, or even like yeah. the movie with Mick Rick Moranis, where it's like what's that? It's like Little Giants or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. It's that's a. It's like when it's like a ragtag yeah. team that's terrible, but then they have like this great morale win, and everyone's like, "Yeah, we're bad, but still we did." Like that's how I felt about that punk fake, you know? It's like, it's like that. That is like for a Jets fan. That's like, yeah. And I, I fucking a, I feel so bad for the Jets social media person because they always have to constantly like boost up spirits. And like, I feel like it was just, it was like, Hey, Brees Hall's good. Remember how good Brees Hall is? It's like, Oh yeah. The one touchdown that you got that put six points on the board. And then I I'm like, did we miss a field goal too? Like I didn't even see that part, but I just, it's I, bad, I read man. Yeah, I'm reading that, you know, Zach Wilson is going to get benched for Tim Boyle. And then they're also talking about yep. uh, Trevor Simeon um, putting him. It's just, it's the same kind of, but it's the same. It's like, that's why people have said there's like a QB curse. Because it's the same historic kind of bullshit that's been going on with the franchise. Is say that there's no, like, there's no standard quarterback. There's no, like, good, good quarterback. It's always been the nucleus of the offense, which is a quarterback, has always been shit. And, <laughs> you know, Zach Wilson, he tried, but, like, I guess it's just like, dude, you just, no. <laughs> it's just, it's depressing. It's depressing when you think about it, but, like, I didn't really, I, I just, I, I had no more emotion than a shoulder shrug, you know? I, I was so... Yeah. I went through so many highs and lows with um, with the first game against the Bills, where Aaron Rodgers got hurt, and then we. Oh, that's right. The uh, opener was against the Bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was against the Bills, and obviously, um, as we all know, Aaron Rodgers um, got injured like four snaps in, and then we won on a kickoff return. Which, by the way, that's why I said I feel bad for the social media people of the New York Jets. <laughs> because it just kept like them like reposting the kickoff return from the first game like <laughs> what, is this cool remember this please yeah. still like us please still yeah, like buying tickets how far do you have to go back do they have to start posting like mark gas oh. highlights of like remember when we could tackle people like <laughs> you know that, it, it, they're they're not above gas highlights or joe klecko highlights at all no, they're not above, not. not above any of that they're like, whole, <laughs> they're like joe they talk about cool ones how this game is, I actually texted you at the beginning of the game. Both both of the Bills games this year, the Jets versus Bills games, they both started very ominously. And in both times, I texted you to make sure you're okay. So I, you, if you didn't see the beginning of yesterday's game, uh, literally it started on the Jets fumbling a kickoff return. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the first play of the game, yeah. the, the, before the first possession, before the first anything, it, like the game started in the most Jets way possible. And it was mm -hmm. just, it was exactly like you mentioned, Brian. It was just the numbness of just, just that, that sound of womp, womp. That's it. And that, that set the tone for the whole game. And like, I didn't like, and I didn't expect this. I, I thought maybe it would have been a good game. I didn't expect nope. this to beat the Bills. <laughs> but like when I saw, I, I was able to um be at the bar I was at and like, just like, see the tv and just be like okay it was like six and like 
I believe it was like 623 or something like that. And I was like, no, nah, no. Nah. Okay, I'm tapping. I didn't good. I'm tapping out of this one. I'll watch the highlights. I'll read up on it. And I, I don't know. We're gonna get murdered by the Dolphins this Friday. Like, well, you Dolphins know, here's the thing gonna... with the Jets though: is that they beat the fucking Eagles. They almost beat the Chiefs. Watch them come out and and destroy the Dolphins next week. Or, it, or it watch, or, completely... or watch Tim Boyle be the Tom Brady of the New York Jets. <laughs> it was it was Tim Boyle the whole time. <laughs>